We're having kind of a women's march pre-funk poster making happy hour. They're putting paint to paper, making signs they'll wave during Saturday's women's march. Support our global sisters. Well, kind of sisters like um, like women around the world. And then I also made one that was um, it's our turn. It speaks for itself, right? Patricia Chase plans to make a political statement. He's just brought down the office of the presidency, and I'm so sad about that. But also attending, according to this Facebook post, is Patriot Prayer, a group that stated goal is to get people with a different point of view to be with the women at the march. I think all voices should be heard. Kristen Hyde, one of the owners at the feed store, was at last year's march. Just super inspiring to see how many people in Seattle got out and, and walked. It was massive and stretched for miles, weaving through Seattle's streets. Just all of the people standing in solidarity together, all of these people who share a common belief and feel that we need to speak up and it's our time to to change the way things are going and I just it's it was super powerful. This time around Cupcake Royale, a business owned and operated by women, is making a statement of their own. We just wanted the message to really be liberty and justice for all. And back here, dignity and equity for all. In addition to demonstrating, they're donating we're participating with a bunch of other women uh, coffee shops in donating percent of proceeds back to a group called um, She Should Run. So trying to elect more women to office, and that feels really good. Okay, bye-bye, thank you. We are one. That's the message of solidarity and support that thousands of people will take to the streets during Saturday's march. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.